Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage and welcome to episode 9 of Europa Universalis 4 with Mari Nostrum as Vijayanagar. And we are in a position where we could actually try to go to war against Bamanis. And to be honest, we, we need to do that at some point. Um, we, we're working on building up a spy network with them again. I do want to try and get claims on a few provinces at least. Uh, certainly North Konkan. I want to make sure I've got a claim there because I want to try and grab it to give me a border with Gujarat. And probably Warangal. There was a quest for that. There was a mission for that, but we probably won't be able to get that again until we complete the current mission, which was to repay all of our loans. That's a little bit tricky at the moment. We're not making a huge amount of money. We're still below our force limit, but we don't have a lot of um, men either. We're all, we are fully reinforced, though, which is quite nice. We're also probably going to be able to take another military tech soon. We don't have any corruption. We are behind time slightly. It will give us military tactics. It'll give us better combat width. It'll give us fire and shock. So it's well worth waiting until we can get that before we even attempt to get involved into another war. Might want to go slightly higher on my numbers, but I think the 12 stacks for now are probably better. We will want to try and get some um, artillery soon as well, because that'll really help out with the sieges. We don't even have enough admin ideas yet. We're so far behind on admin ideas. Uh, we've not even been able to grab ourselves an idea group. I don't really know what idea groups I'm going to go for. We might want to go for humanist ideas to deal with the possible rebellions, because there's a lot of different cultures and religions that we're going to be grabbing. And we will get things like trade power and cavalry combat ability and tolerance of heretics and heathens, prestige. Most of these aren't all that useful. The discipline's nice when you eventually get it. but um, And apparently we do have that um, infantry combat ability, but I certainly don't feel like I've seen any of it benefiting me in the fight just because the AI seems to be getting better roles than I do all of the time. But we'll see how it goes. If we're careful, we can jump in here and take something from them. It'd be really nice if Joan Paul would get involved in somebody else's business. See, these guys actually quite like me, but I'm allied to their rival. These guys, yeah, again, we're still allied to rival. So that's always going to be difficult. We're never going to get an alliance with them. How close are these guys to an alliance? Yeah, far too many negatives to get anything done there. But we can now pick up our military tech, so let's go ahead and do that. It also gives us a new type of cavalry as well, so we'll go and take the uh, Indian cavalry archers. And now I'm just trying to think very carefully. Do I want to go in and try and, um, try and do this fight? Gain a military engineer or have a province get local defensiveness until the end of the game? Uh, I think we'll go for the local defensiveness because I don't really have any advisors at the moment. I can't really afford to run them. Now, Bamanis does have a little bit of coast, but there again, you've got um, Arissa and they have a lot of coast. So they're going to have a lot of ships that can cause me problems, which means I really need to dock up my trade fleet if I want to keep them safe. We can get another trade ship, actually. So let's go ahead and do that in the meantime. Now, because I'm not actually using any mercenaries, and I'm deliberately doing that because I don't have enough money, um, because I don't have any mercenaries, I am trying to make sure that I've got at least some manpower in the bag so that we can use that uh, for reinforcing when we go to war against Bermanis. Now, I don't want to take a lot from them, but I do want to take um, this province, possibly this province... There's a few provinces that I want to take. This one is a fort anyway, so we'll definitely need to siege that out. Siege out that fort. Siege out their capital. Grab that province there. I'm just a little bit worried about how weak Malwa is. I'd like to use them to hold off Jainpur. I could probably deal with Arissa and Bamanis on my own. I think it might be safer to go and... No, actually, I don't, what, I don't like having units on the border, especially when I'm not at full maintenance, because if they declare on me, then they can just move in instantly and cause me problems. Um, Rebel Uprising. This is going to be in um, Tiran Tavelli, uh, Candy and Vanad. Vanad is down here. Let's move everybody down into these provinces. Candy is... Is that... Uh, which one was it again? 
and candy, which is the one down here. That may pop. It may also go away. We'll see how it works out. Um, we do have unrest here. We do have unrest here. We need to go ahead and put our military maintenance up. Just in case those rebels pop, because we want to make sure that we can fight them off. Now then, we should be able to have another military leader. Uh, what am I looking at? Yeah, we have... No, we can only have one. We need to get some power projection as well. Bermanis is building a spy network against us. This is another reason why we need to attack Bermanis. I want, what I really ought to do is take, take a couple of provinces from them and then... Um, take a couple of provinces and then humiliate them. So we can take our next admin idea group. Let's go ahead and do that. We don't want to be miles behind the time. Now we get ourselves an idea group. We probably want to take a Diplo idea. I did think about experimenting with espionage ideas, but there's so many other things that are better. Trade ideas could be really good for us. Do tend to go with trade quite a lot, though. Diplomatic annexation cost, aggressive expansion impact, diplo rep. Could be useful. We are probably going to have a few vassals. I mean, I'd love to get humanists, but we're so far behind on admin, it's probably not worth it. We're also getting behind on military, although I would quite like to go for quality ideas and get even more infantry combat ability. Do you know what? I think we will. I think we are actually going to go military. Start off with. I don't normally start off with a military idea group. But considering a lot of this campaign is going to be based on how well we can fight against Bermanis, I think that's going to be worth doing. I also think I need to get into a fight with Bermanis as soon as possible because I want to take some money from them. Uh, or war reps. Now, you you must be being sieged out by rebels because somebody's fighting you. You've got something going on over here. I just can't can't see what it is. Yeah, Malware, I don't really like the fact that you don't have a massive army. Janpur still aren't involved in any fights with anybody. Arissa is still in a Regency Council and you're not involved in any fights with anybody. That is annoying. If I declared war on you, yeah, that would bring in all the wrong people. Yeah, you've been occupied by rebels, haven't you? Hindu zealots. There we go. 100% occupied. Right, how is this rebellion coming along? It's at 80%. 0.2% unrest here. 5.2% unrest here. Uh, it's mainly just separatism. The religious unit is hurting a little bit as well. Could just go and put the autonomy up. Don't like putting autonomy up. But it does get rid of... Um, it does get rid of the problem. Uh... Let's go and put the autonomy up here. We can send a missionary, but we don't have the strength. But that should make the rebellion go away anyway. So let's go and move our armies back up then. Uh, you've got a tiny bit of unrest there. Actually, more than I expected. Right, put the autonomy up everywhere. All the unrest goes away. We don't have to worry about that. I know we're not going to be getting as much out of those provinces, but... And of course, because we've taken a military idea group, our military leader has died. Let's go ahead and get another one. Oh, well, that's not too bad. He doesn't have any any siege ability, but at least he's got shock instead of fire. What about our actual um, leader? He's terrible. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. So we'll put you in charge. Uh, provincial unrest in the Maldives. Again, we kind of expected that this was going to happen. Don't think we've got any rebellions likely to pop. The separatism is burning away. That positive stability is helping. Almost wondering if it's worth going up to plus two positive stability. Uh, go home at war and you are going to protect trade in Ceylon. So we're at full maintenance. We don't have any advisors. We're still making 3.24 ducats a month, which really isn't a lot. Uh, we don't have any corruption at the moment because we have positive stability. We definitely need to get some power projection. Legitimacy is going up. It's going to be difficult for me to take what I... Look at that. I can either lose 25 legitimacy or lose 1 stability. I don't want to do either. We'll take the legitimacy here. It puts us down to 0, but we had low legitimacy anyway. If our leader dies, at least we'll get some back. Um, how good is our air and how old is our air? I've forgotten completely. 
Five four four. Our current guy is good. Our air is three two four. Not as good, and only thirteen. If we go to war, we're also going to fail our mission, and it might be worth actually allowing that mission to complete. Can't remember what the rewards for manpower is. Um. 90% of our manpower, and it would give us minus 0.5% national unrest and also increase our tax. I think we've got to try and do it. I really do think we have to try and do that. 90% um, would be um, 23,000 minus 2,300. So we'd be looking around about 21,000. If we get up to 21,000 manpower, we're only at 12,000 manpower. That's, that's quite a bit off. On the plus side, we are about to finish annexing, uh, we'll repay a loan. I'm going to have to extend another loan. We are slowly getting rid of them, though. Of course, we are still gaining inflation as well, which is really annoying. Um, but we are now down to seven loans. We were at ten. I mean, at some point, we might have even gone above ten. But we, we are now at seven loans. So that 1,500 ducats has now gone down to just over 1,000, which is a lot better. I really, really do want to go to war. See, we've got no corruption, so it doesn't matter how high the root out corruption slider is. It's basically just between 0 and 25% of your income, but as there's no corruption, it doesn't cost us anything. So making the money is nice. It would be nice to um, increase stability again. How far are we getting behind on these techs? Considerably, I think, is the word. Well, there's our um, integration. That gives us a little bit of extra prestige now. Uh, what have we got here? We would seed... Um, seed one province, this one, to these guys. Or we can give them Liberty Desire. What does this province give us? It gives us cloth. It's got 50% autonomy. It's got a full core because it's part of a state. Do I want to give it away? No, we'll just take the prestige. You have your liberty desire. I, I don't really care. So, um, we've gained a few extra ships that we probably don't need. We're probably now over our naval force limit, and we are. Let's go ahead and um, disband these guys. So, we've also gained another fort, which I don't think we need. So, let's instantly go ahead and get rid of that. Let us take these guys. Are we over our land force limit? No, we are spot on our land force limit. Um, I am going to get rid of the cavalry, however. And I'm going to go and uh, just grab a single infantry on that stack. Now, there are the more ships floating around. No, just the ones that we had. I think it's because we actually put the autonomy up in a couple of coastal provinces. That's why we lost a little bit of our um, naval force limit, so that's fine. We've got caught with our spy network here, but I think we should just go ahead and get our claims anyway. So let's go ahead and um, fabricate claims. Uh, we want to claim on... We've already got that one then, so we want this claim. Sort of try and cut them in half a little bit. And probably this one here, Gil Gilbarga. So let's go and fabricate a claim on that one. And uh, before it... T well, we might as well just get claims on anything we can. There's no reason why not to just claim anything we can get a claim on, I suppose. Um, so let's just... Yeah, let's just go and claim everything. Not to say that we'll take everything if we go to war, but we might... We can't spy on them again for another five years. And the 75 spy network points we've got are just going to start ticking down. So we might as well. Uh, so I want to split these guys up. Half of you are going to go on that group. Half of you are going to go on that group and all should be fine. Really do want to get rid of these loans. We also want to go to war. Um, let's look at the states and territories again. So we now have one state here. A one territory, which is three provinces. Now, unfortunately, this we don't own this province, but... I think these are the same province, provinces, or same uh, same state. So, Kerala. Yeah, Kerala. So, if I were to mm, do this, we'd actually gain some money. So, it's worth doing. And um, we'll go ahead and do the uh, do the calls. So, did that call both of them? Yeah, it did. Okay, fine. 
So that should actually make us a little bit more money now. And then when we could eventually integrate these guys, that province will already be in a state. So, uh, in a state, not an estate. I know my accent makes that a little bit difficult sometimes. But we should get some uh, even more money from that. So still making 3.07. So gaining um, 2, 000, uh, 200 manpower a month, which means we gain just over 2,000 a year. That's still going to take a lot of years to, to reach the amount that we want to get to. I'm almost con thinking that it's it's just not worth waiting. Um, Malwa are at war with Gujarat, which is not good. Jainpur are not at war. Well, I can't declare my war now. You're at war with Utsang. Which is good, but I, I can't really, I can't really get involved in this unless uh, Malra are willing to come in and help me. And while they're busy fighting um, Gujarat, it seems a little bit silly. Let's group these guys together. So if I were, for example, to declare war on you, yet yeah, both of you guys would come in. Malwa wouldn't. We need to make sure we keep our relationship nice and high with uh, Malwa. So let's go ahead and do that. Now then, is there anybody else big and stompy that we could possibly gain an alliance with? What about Nepal? Nepal wouldn't want to form an alliance because they have a neutral attitude, distance between borders, diplo rep. Do you know what, though? We could probably improve relations enough with Nepal because they are actually Hindu. We could probably um, get enough relations with Nepal to ally them. And that could be really useful because they could then um, hold off on Jainpur. That could be useful. Let's see if we can do that. There's no guarantee that it'll work. As we're not likely to be in any war straight away, I'm going to go ahead and put my army maintenance down just a little bit because any extra money that I can make each month is good. I'm also going to go and just pull the, pull them back from the borders. Because the problem with me, it's not too it's not too bad if you can hide behind um, forts, but you've also got to remember that the AI does tend to ignore um, zona controls quite a lot. But if the AI decides to attack me and I don't have full maintenance and I'm standing on the border, yes, my maintenance will automatically go up as soon as the war is declared, but their morale won't, which means he could just move straight in and kill me, which is not really good. He's actually producing some units. Maybe he is thinking about going to war. He's not currently in a war at the moment. Um, Gujarat is being almost completely uh, squished. It looks like at some point, assuming we manage to get past Bermanis, we will actually have to try and then turn on Malwa themselves because we, we need to go that way. Um, the main decision that we want to take um, as uh, Vijayanagar is forming Bharat, which requires you to have a particular number of provinces. Um, Saying that, we've already got quite a few. We need Cochin, which we are working on. They are a vassal. We need um, Golconda, Bastar, and Kaling Kalingandra. Um, lose 10 prestige or 50 military power. We'll take the prestige hit. So we need um, Koldana, which is uh, Golconda, which is this one here. Uh, so there's Cochin, which we'll get anyway because it is a vassal we can in integrate. We need Col Golconda, which is this province here. And we need... What was the other ones? Um, Bastar and Kalingadra. I can never remember these. Um, Bastar is there. And the last one that we need, I cannot see. Let's just check out what this is. Malwa's opinion. No, lose 20 diplo power. 50% chance of ad... Malwa's spying on me. Eh, just do that. Okay, so... Um, what was I looking at? The la name of that last province, or the location of that last province, which is... How is that spelt? Kaling. There it is, and it is there. So we basically need this province, this province, and this province, and then we can form um, Barat. And the advantage of doing that is it actually gives us um, claims on uh, a lot of provinces. It gives us permanent claims. Uh, we also become an empire by doing that. So that is really what we will be uh, heading for. We'll probably want to sort of continue on after that and do some more stuff, but um, that's sort of the plan so far. So, let's have a look at things. Manpower, 
I'm still very tempted to just try and allow that to recover just to get the mission done. It's so, so tempting. I know I haven't really done an awful lot on these last few videos. Uh, but Marnus has declared war on Gujarat. Now, that's interesting because, I mean, Gujarat are half dead at the moment. But if they want to get their armies all sort of... Um, Gujarat don't like me, do they? Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. We're no longer rival to Gujarat. We could ally them and we could get involved in this. Or we could take the option to try and enforce peace. Can't do it. Choose the country you want to side with. I don't want to side with Bermanis. We want to go to Bermanis and enforce peace and side with Gujarat. We can't do it. You need to have an opinion of at least 100 with Gujarat. I could offer to form an alliance with them. Um, we do... Do we have a free Diplo slot left? Yes, we do. Of course, they are... Well, no, they're not rivaled with Malwa. Interesting. That might be what we want to do. If I, um, offer to join this quick enough... I guess it would depend who is in that actual war. If they've got their allies in with them, can we see who's actually in that war? I guess we need to look at the ledger and go ahead and look at uh, relations and current wars. Try and find where it is. Yeah, it looks like Janpur and... Yeah, it's not really going to help me all that much if I try and get involved. Because they're still in the war with Jainpur. And then uh, it'll be pointless me using up an alliance slot just to get involved in that war. I'm better off just declaring war on them directly. But I'll have a think about it and we'll decide in the next video. So thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope you're still enjoying EU4 as Vijayanagar. And I will see you on the next video. Until then, goodbye for now.